Now we're moving from the royalty of Britain to pop royalty, that is Kim Wilde. And yes, we all know she's a pop star and all the rest of it, but did you know that she's also a garden designer and has a stunning garden? That's what you're gonna see right now. A lovely place. How old? This barn is about 400 years old, and the garden's quite new. This is an avenue of Amalankia. And for the art at the end, do you shower for long <laughs> periods? <laughs> See, I knew there'd be something to embarrass me in the garden. <laughs> A garden to live in and entertain in and have a few glasses of wine in and play music in hmm. and live in. Well, I noticed you entertained a bit. I, I noticed um, yeah, Martin yeah. Chandon, <laughs> it, which is a fine look. No, it's a very good French champagne. It's wonderful, Martin Chandon, and all the bottles and so on. But... Yeah, I was going to, I was meaning to hide that before you guys got here and you just kind of caught me on the hop. <laughs> So you're Reggie Smith's daughter, then? I am. I'm Marty Wilde's daughter, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Re I'm Marty's daughter. <laughs> Changed his name from Reggie Smith. Yeah, to, Reg. To, yeah. I went to see him last night. He was uh, The other night, he was fantastic. He's on tour with Joe Brown at the moment. Oh. And he sang... Oh, God, he sounded great. And your mum was musical, too? Yep. All singing, all dancing. So it was expected of you. So uh, your first sort of hit, your brother wrote for you. Yeah, he wrote Kids in America, he wrote the music. We were living at home at the time and then my dad kind of um, ended up finishing the song with, the, with my brother and called it Kids in America and, and then my life just got turned around. And then your head must have been spinning for quite a while. Yeah, it, I mean, I was very young, so I think that kind of success that early affects you less than if you were older and then you suddenly got success. You know, for me, it was I didn't know any better type thing. Mm. I, was, I knew how lucky I was, and mm. um, I just grabbed hold of the whole moment and went for it. of that I just thought no there must be something else in life you know I was brought up to believe that you know this thing happens where something comes into your life someone comes into your life and something very powerful can happen so I put my faith in something beautiful happening and it did and then I went how it's really good fun I fell in love with him very quickly we got married within six months and um, and now we have two beautiful children he makes me cry I'm so sad <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love you I love you I love you Um, this is a vegetable garden. This garden was inspired by the children initially, so it's, it's very child-friendly. I wanted to impart my passion for planting, but also to inspire them and fill them with awe and fill them with, you know, just make them get out of the house, basically. Exactly. Get them away from the television. There's two of them. There's two of them. What yeah. ages? There's Harry and Rose. Harry's six and Rose is four. And then, this is my favourite part of the garden. Of course, it's the bit I had the least to do with, of course. Yep. So this is the, the meadow. meadow, yes. And we just mow past through it, and then we have a living willow arbour at the end there. And it's oh, a very nice. peaceful space. So yeah. you just take long willow shoots, poke them all in, yeah. and, and sort of make all those cross hatches. That's, That's rather right, nice. yeah. This is my newest garden. Ah. <laughs> This is the sensory garden, uh -huh. and I rather like this. Yeah. <laughs> so the kids like it too? Well, not as much as Mum. I did this to my mum the other day, and she looked at me like I was saying funny in my head. <laughs> and she walked off, so uninterested she was. Look at the mound. Look, this is, I'm really, really pleased with the mound. You have a particularly nice mound. Thank you, darling. <laughs> and um, I think that's great. I think that. So the kids will be allowed or are allowed to climb up it and things. No. No. Oh. no of course they are. No, it's, no. it's somewhere for them to run up to the top yeah. and um, make believe. Oh, 
um, after we had the children that I got back into touring again. I'm doing 80s tours and I enjoy those every now and again, get out of the house. Mm. <laughs> and I was amazed at how much I enjoyed it, but I was also relieved that I hadn't missed it at all. And now if someone said to me, oh, you're never going to sing Kids in America on stage again, it wouldn't bother me at all. I mean, someone told me I couldn't do gardening again, I'd be mightily bothered. I, you know, I quickly realised that you, you make your own reality. And I wanted my reality to be amazing, not just all right. I, wanted an, I want to have an amazing life. Each day now is a, is, is a real, true gift.